Well, if you don't work in an air-conditioned office, then these very hot temperatures can make for an extra long day. KXY4 Jeff Humphrey joins us now live on the Freya Hill, where a new construction project of new sidewalks has crews there sweating up a storm as they try to stay on schedule. Jeff? And Nadine, that's because of our long winters. There's only a finite number of days that you can actually pour concrete here in Spokane. And because of that condensed construction schedule, you've got to work your project, whether it's blazing hot or not. The crew from Red Diamond Construction, they put freezer bags full of water in the freezer at night and then take out that ice and use it all day long. And they certainly need it trudging up and down this, the steepest part of the Freya Hill. This is where the city of Spokane is putting in a sidewalk where there's never been a sidewalk before. And in the wintertime, that puts it's elementary school students walking within inches of Freya Street traffic. Sometimes we've seen them walking in the middle of the road just so they can get some traction and during storms, drivers regularly lose control of their cars on the hill. That's why today workers like Randy Adams said he really didn't mind the heat when he could. He was using his flagger sign for shade and he wears a wet compress around his neck trying to get some cooling from evaporation. Uh, these neck coolies are they're really handy. They stay for about eight, nine hours. You can just re-wet them and, and they actually stay pretty cool. It's the weather. You deal with it. You don't get used to the cold, but you dress for it. The warm, you just you get used to it. Crews try to beat the heat by starting early in the morning. However, when they're working in a residential area, they can't stay in the start making noise until 7 a.m. Hopefully here along Freya Street, it's already noisy that time and neighbors will be tolerant. That's because this is a really important safety project. We're showing you the existing footpath that these kids have to take. And as you can see, Nadine, there is no room for error. This Iowa project should be complete about the middle of July. Mm, glad they're making improvements there. Jeff, some more construction going on uh, that will shut down the interstate later tonight, right? Later tonight from 1 to 2 a.m. Interstate 90 closed in both directions between Pines and Argonne. The Department of Transportation is putting up a big reader board sign that spans the entire width of the freeway so they can't have traffic underneath it when those cranes are putting the new sign into place. And so between 1 and 2 a.m. later on this evening and early into Tuesday morning, Interstate 90 shut down in both directions between 1 and 2. They're going to be detours that will help you get around that and help you keep on your way. Reporting live on the South Hill, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.